Let's install the MongoDB MCP in VS Code. Open up VS Code and then press Control or Command Shift P to open up the command palette. And then type MCP add servers. Select Command Standard IO and then input the command npx-y MongoDB MCP server and then name it MongoDB. This will open up your settings.json file. Now just be sure to add any arguments or environment variables that are needed here, such as your API client ID, client secret, or connection string. Be sure to save this file and then you can click start right above the server name MongoDB, or you can go back to the command palette, search for MCP list servers, select the server, and then select start server. And now we can use our new MongoDB MCP server in the GitHub Copilot agent mode. So let's do that. We're gonna create a new MongoDB Atlas environment from scratch. I'll ask it to list my existing MongoDB Atlas projects. I'll allow it to use the MongoDB MCP and we can see it has no issues pulling up all of my projects. So let's tell it to create a new Atlas project called VS Code Demo Project. Let's ask it to create a free MongoDB Atlas cluster in my new project and name it VS Code Demo Cluster. And I'll tell it to use the US East region. Great, so let's also ask it to create a new database user called app user and give it read and write access to any database. I also need to add my current IP address to the access list, so I'll ask it to do that. And lastly, let's get the connection string for this new cluster, including the user and password that was just created. That just scratches the surface of what you can do with the MongoDB MCP server in VS Code. Go give the MongoDB MCP a try in VS Code today.